today, let's take a look at some of the best and worst of struggle meals. What I mean by struggle meals is stuff like this. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the best of the best, the worst of the worst when it comes to struggle meals and ranking them 1 through 10. No, ain't no way somebody's actually digesting the toothpaste glizzy. Like, why? You have to be on some, like, really down horrendous stuff to be digesting this. All the things you can put on a hot dog. There's so much variety with that. Ketchup, mustard, relish, whatever. I'm putting that on a hot dog. But uh, toothpaste, I don't know about that one, bucko. Cream betweens, no, no, it's not that hard. Just pay the extra like dollar for normal Oreos. Trust me, I mean like, do you really need to be stooping down this low? I mean, they probably taste the exact same, but ain't nobody wanna catch you eating some cream betweens casually. <laughs> Next up we have just straight up peanut butter. Now, I've actually stooped down to this one. I mean, who doesn't like peanut butter? I mean, it's like a last resort, but it still kind of smacks most of the time. Next up, we have beans on toast. Ain't no way you should be eating this. This is straight up jail food. When you think of being down horrendous for food, you think of this. You know, you gotta be really desperate to go with the beans on the toast. I mean, just look at this. This just does not look pleasing. I mean, if, like, the only other thing in my, like, food cabinet was, like, uh, live worms, I'm probably going with the live worms first. Cereal and soda. Now, sometimes you get kind of bored as a kid. I remember doing this, doing this as, like, an experiment. I was trying to do, like, the diabetes speed run or something like that. And safe to say it wasn't really that good. You know, you could feel your toes tingling with that one. I mean, at that point, just eat it dry. I mean, I don't really see the problem with that. Dry cereal isn't even really that bad. If you are eating ice and bread, you have to be like homeless or something. I don't know anybody who would voluntarily eat that. At that point, you're just like putting food in your stomach just to get by. Three out of 10. I should never see you digesting this. Next up, we have the struggle candy, which is cough drops. Now, growing up, I used to like these, but like now, it, like I would never eat these. But hey, I'll cut you some slack on this one. At least it's like actually edible, unlike ice and bread. Cough drops get like a get like a seven out of ten. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. Uh, comment down below what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for tuning in.